television has been evolving ever since Americans first welcomed TV into their living rooms. Today, there's more money to be made on the small screen than ever before. Whether it's on HBO, Netflix, or any other platform, there's something out there for everyone, no matter what their taste. Nailing down which shows have been most influential in television's development is pretty tough. There's so much TV to choose from that we could write multiple top tens and they'd all be unique. No! Take me! I'm old! But we're always up for a challenge. So here are our picks for the 10 most influential TV shows of all time. The Wire. Before Boyd Crowder towed the line between being a good guy and a total heel, before Game of Thrones shocked audiences by taking Sean Bean's head, and before Walter White made ruthless meth dealing cool, there was The Wire, a show where main characters were never safe and amorality ruled. Sure, The Wire has been influenced by other entries on this list, but the show reminded viewers that great TV could exist outside of network stations. Although it owes a debt to its predecessors, this police drama was groundbreaking on its own. Even casual fans probably can't hear The Farmer in the Dell without looking over their shoulders. Law & Order Law & Order aired between 1990 and 2010. During that time, it spawned four spin-offs and immortalized actors like Jerry Orbach, Jesse L. Martin, Mariska Hargitay, and Sam Waterston. If you detect shades of the iconic series while watching, say, The Shield or The Practice, it's probably not an accident. The original Law & Order is the best of the brand, but the show's ripped from the headlines realism had a massive role in molding police and courtroom drama. Lost Five years after it ended, some of its viewers are still lost. But if the story's lingering questions and unsolved mysteries still drive debate about the show's quality, then there's no denying the impact it had on television during and after its sixth season run. Consider shows like Flash Forward, Person of Interest, and Fringe. Each of them has benefited in some way from Lost's massive popularity. The series also took J.J. Abrams' mystery box approach to storytelling and brought it to new heights. Audiences would continue to see it in films like Cloverfield and Star Trek Into Darkness. It's not a stretch to think that these movies might not exist without the success of Lost. You know where to find us when you change your mind. Star Trek The Next Generation Speaking of Star Trek, how much do you love your tablet? Gene Roddenberry beat Steve Jobs to that idea by several decades. So next time you load up Candy Crush on your Android or iPad, just remember to give credit where it's due. More importantly, Star Trek The Next Generation carved a foothold for sci-fi shows at a time when the genre was in a slump. It helped geek culture break back into the mainstream and paved the way for shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The X-Files, and even Lost. Who knows, we might not have comic book blockbusters like The Avengers if Star Trek hadn't made it cool to be a nerd in the 80s and 90s. The X-Files The X-Files might seem more like a benefactor of Star Trek The Next Generation's influence than an influence in itself, but The X-Files brought things a step further. It introduced niche concepts to a wide audience and made aliens, werewolves, and ghosts interesting for people who otherwise didn't care about the paranormal. The X-Files was also one of the earliest shows to use the internet to engage with fans, and it's where Breaking Bad creator Vince Gilligan started his career. Plus, without the adventures of Scully and Mulder, we'd probably be missing out on shows like Supernatural and Bones. Seinfeld Seinfeld took what people knew about sitcoms and completely turned it inside out. The show that gave us Festivus, Pigman, and the Soup Nazi is somehow still relevant to our day-to-day -day lives. Seinfeld meddled with the sitcom's traditional A-plot, B-plot structure. It introduced audiences to the unlikable jerk as protagonist, it didn't use multicam setups, and it turned self-referentialism into art. From Girls to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia to The Big Bang Theory, Seinfeld has been copied but never cloned. Not too shabby for a show about nothing. Have you ever seen anything like this? Never. Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live is a comic institution, one that's been making names for decades. SNL's influence expands beyond the stage, too. A world without SNL would probably mean a world without The Daily Show and The Colbert Report. The show's format has also been ripped off by Mad TV, All That, and Mr. Show, and its humor is echoed in Tina Fey's 30 Rock. The Simpsons. The Simpsons has shaped just about every cartoon that has aired since it started in 1989. Sure, cartoons were around before The Simpsons, and people would have still made them without The Simpsons, but Springfield's first family changed the game by showing that cartoons didn't just have to be for kids. Without The Simpsons, there's no Family Guy or American Dad, and pretty much everything Seth MacFarlane has ever done, as well as South Park, King of the Hill, and The Critic, which had a crossover with The Simpsons back in 1995. Live-action shows like Arrested Development can also trace influence back to Matt Groening's TV landmark. I Love Lucy Seinfeld may have influenced the sitcoms of today, but I Love Lucy gave birth to the sitcom way back in the 1950s. Small things we take for granted, like reruns, continuously running storylines, or the multicam setup, didn't even exist until I Love Lucy conjured them into being with a knowing wink. The show was also a major feminist milestone. 
which is admirable because it aired during a time when most viewers expected women to be stay-at-home wives and mothers. At a glance, I Love Lucy endorses those social norms. But Lucy Ricardo speaks up and lets her dreams be known to her husband Ricky and defies him from one episode to the next. I Love Lucy may look dated today, but it was totally progressive in its era. The Sopranos There are a number of creative types who have contributed to the renaissance we're seeing on TV today. But one name rises above the rest. David Chase was the architect of The Sopranos back in the late 90s, and he emerged as a champion for bold, risky television. In the grand scheme of TV history, The Sopranos is a fairly young series, but it's already iconic and completely essential. Take away The Sopranos and say goodbye to HBO and other premium cable channels. It's possible that the show's influence is so strong that competitors like Showtime may not have produced Homeland and Shameless without it. Those are our picks for the most influential TV shows of all time. Can you think of any we missed? Let us know in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.